Joining me now is former World Bank president, Purdue University distinguished fellow and Wall Street Journal contributor David Malpaz. David, I want to get your reaction to my interview with uh, President Trump. He was laying out how you can get the U.S. economy to go faster. And I really think it's up to VP Harris to say how she's going to do things differently from President Biden. She's running on Biden's record. That isn't a good record in terms of growth, in terms of energy, in terms of regulation. And so the burden's on her to say what she's going to do. So I hope she'll do sit down interviews like the one you did, just did with President Trump. And uh, I think also that there can be there can be actual policy speeches, and so I, th I think it's going to be a very uh, uh, interesting race and beneficial if the two candidates can show their policies and and debate them. Uh, that I I think it'll it'll side toward Trump. Uh, he's got the better record. He's got the experience that showed up in this interview. Well, I mean, this is a really important point that you're making, because the truth is, David, we don't know what a Kamala Harris agenda looks like. We just don't know. What we do know is that the Biden-Harris policies have failed uh, with regard to the economy, with regard to the border, with regard to foreign policy. So how involved was she in all of that? Can she just get around the edges by saying, no, I was not the border czar, and no, I had nothing to do with Biden's economic policy? Or is she going to be forced to give us her platform, give us an agenda to get inflation down and the economy growing in a sustainable way? So far, we haven't heard that. And there's been this honeymoon around her, David. Right. That, that's right. She did the tie-breaking vote for the big spending packages right. that are causing the inflation now. So does she want to walk away from that or say she'd do it again? You know, uh, yeah. uh, Hillary Clinton had this problem in 2016, and Trump was very effective in speeches laying out what he would do, and then she couldn't run away from Obama's record. So now VP Harris, uh, I, I think it's going to be very hard for her to run away from Biden's record. He's got his budget. Budget down. It's the Biden Harris budget, That's and right. it won't work. It, it you know, it's it, it's going to have slow growth for the economy. So yeah. Trump is saying, look, we're going to break out of this with new policies. Yeah, and and that budget is a 7.3 trillion dollar budget for 2025, and it includes five and a half trillion dollars of new taxes. We need to hear from Kamala Harris. Is she going to raise those taxes? Is she going to continue in that same realm of Biden's $7.3 trillion budget, which includes $5.5 trillion in higher taxes? We don't know. She needs to answer the question. And then there